They make it up as they go along. The laughter of the audience determines success or failure. Welcome to the risky world of improvisational comedy. Hottie to Beach Base, the corporate recess players, takes those risks with their regular show at Old World German Restaurant. Improvisational theater is actually an art form where we create scenes and stories completely unscripted. With, 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 you know, we haven't rehearsed it or performed it in any way. And what that is, is, is for actors that like doing it, it's a, it's a rush. It's a, like your drug of choice, basically. Um, because it, it's very high risk. Uh, you take a, a huge chance of falling on your face. And because when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it can be bad. And, and so that's the risk. And the audience gets a kick because they're actually sometimes looking to see if you're going to fall on your face. They're actually hoping for it. So it makes it fun for the audience too. Part of successful improvisation is being able to work with fellow actors in unknown territory. That requires trust, which results in chemistry. Yes, it's very important to have a good camaraderie. And what's important in improv is trust. You have to trust your fellow actors. And when you build that trust, it just, it just becomes a nice ensemble where you can just work with anybody and have that feeling. And we have people coming from L.A. and uh, different parts of Orange County. And I'm, I'm in Huntington Beach. And uh, it's, just, it's just nice to have people from different locales get together and do this. It's a pretty close group. What she had seen was a huge, huge rock with an Indian standing on it. That Indian is so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Indian isn't PC anymore. And uh, we've really grown together as a family, and uh, there's not a single person that I would not go up on stage with and feel perfectly comfortable that they have my back during an improv uh, scene. And, uh, and it's ver been very fun to watch how we've all grown together as performers. The show at Old World brings together talent from both audience and from the players. What? Toe glue. Toe glue. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're coming out with a new, uh, a, a new Thompson's hoof glue. <laughs> Where, uh, actually, you see the horse here, that's a perfect stance. And that's because we glued the other feet down. <laughs> the eclectic styles, influence, training, and taste creates the corporate recess play. And now the business world has found the use for improvisation. Um, people who learn improv are never at a loss to, uh, of what to do if something doesn't quite go the way it should have gone when it's planned. And uh, I know that some of the major leaders of uh, big companies want to be able to do improvisation just in case their presentation doesn't go well. You know, the overhead doesn't work, the, the DVD player breaks. Uh, they don't want to look like they're not in total control at all times. So improv is very good for learning how to feel that you're in total control at all times. In business, uh, it's an improv every day. No matter what you have planned, there's a lot of people who are, don't know the script. Uh, maybe your customers have questions that you didn't have in the script. Um, some of your employees might not know everything that you're thinking, uh, you know, before you get them involved in something. Also, it's really a good training method because if you're training them to work with customers, uh, you don't want them to be working with customers as you're training them. So it's good to have improv actors come in to play the customers because we, we can just go off the top of our heads and uh, you know we can be difficult or we can be very friendly we can be whatever they need us to be to get that training across to the employee we hope you enjoyed the ride if you did please invite your friends and come back every night is different <laughs>